Hey everybody, welcome to this week's live stream. We're just getting started, so bear with us for a moment while Jody and I check in and make sure everything's working out okay. In the meantime, everything looks like it's checking out okay to me. It works. Do it. Nice. Well, it works for now. We're going to see. <laughs> Jody, my friend, I'm nervous about this one. <laughs> yeah, we should probably tell everybody why we're why we're being so timid. Um, because uh, a bridge is not my typical forte, and I thought this would be an interesting one because we're dealing with sort of like these different compound curve shapes um, that we're going to try to resolve. But that's definitely out of my usual comfort wheelhouse. Um, also, Jody and I aren't the usual streaming gurus and our, our expert to troubleshoot any problems we have. Matt is um, on a well-deserved, he's not on vacation, he's away. Um, <laughs> he's not a well-deserved, has to go work somewhere else today. Has to go work somewhere else. <laughs> that's exactly right. Uh, uh, well-deserved change of scenery. It's doing a live they shoot. They're like, they're like, are they? He's in Colorado here? here. Oh, okay. There, uh, he's they he's doing them. some um, live video stuff. I think they're working on some AR or iPad stuff. I, I'm a little bit out of the loop. All right. Well, that's fine. We don't need to be in that loop because we are over here uh, doing our own thing. Uh huh. Okay, everyone. So with that convoluted intro, thank you for joining us. We are going to try to model the Providence River Pedestrian Bridge, which is also oh, it's it's actually a memorial bridge, and I should look up um, the name of uh, who this bridge is dedicated to. So I'm sorry, Jody, uh, help me out there. Well, I'm fast as I can. <laughs> Um, it, this is a very cool bridge and we're going to just, um, see what we can do here. I'm going to switch over, um, and, the uh, Michael S. Van Leesen, Van Leesen Memorial Bridge. bridge. Michael Van Leesen. All right. Michael S. Van Leesen. Well, you know what? There it is right there in my Boom. Z fighting space. Okay. So, yay. Uh, please let us know where you're coming in from. Please let us know um, if you've done something like this before. I have an idea of how to approach this, but it could all go horribly wrong. We're going to find out. We'll find out together. But let us know where you're coming in from. Let us know if you've got some interesting stuff on your weekend agenda. We always appreciate everyone joining us from all over. So let's have a look at what uh, we've got. Definitely, definitely is definitely all, all over so far. far. Sweet. Call us out some. There's, uh, there's, there's not going to be any viewing parties because nobody, nobody seems, seems to be in the same, same city. Um, let's see, working my way down here, we've got Morrisburg, Tennessee, Syria. Again, those aren't close. Kongsberg, Norway. Sweden, Vancouver, goodness gracious, gracious. So who knows? You can't, you can't say, say good morning, morning or evening or whatever because it's pretty much everywhere. Or we can say uh, them all. A very good morning, a very good evening, a very good afternoon. Hope everyone is having a lovely. Okay. Uh, so everybody is saying that there is some reverb or some echo in my voice, which is great because I don't have a way to fix that. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Shoot. I will double check. Something about... Uh, try something, Jody. A bit of uh, is it better? Can anybody, am I still at the bottom of the tunnel speaking into a back of a fan? Is this a kind of impersonate Darth Vader? Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? 
<clears throat> okay, so um, no, no, it's, it's not, not there. That's great. Hmm. Sorry, everybody. I am. Uh, um, we had audio issues uh, last week. Donovan was dialing in remotely, and uh, there was a lot of audio issues. So you'd think after a couple of years of doing this, we'd get it dialed in. Um, I can legitimately say that we don't change a lot on our end. We try to stick to, um, you know, making this consistent so that we can. So it is uh, something that sometimes we have to troubleshoot in real time, and we're missing Matt. So hmm. definitely apologies. Um, I want to I want to look at a few things about this bridge before we jump into it and talk about and uh, these are all these pictures uh, credit to I found these on a website called the zine I, I imagine they're available in other places the bridge the bridge over here has um, like a walkway underneath it and so it comes in at a level where it's I don't know it's going to be somewhere 10 to 12 feet or something above this. And then that's another 10 feet or so above the river, the embankment. So one of the things that, that we're going to be kind of trying to reverse engineer is figuring out, you know, you know there's a lot of different levels to this bridge. Um, it, it comes in across here. It's got this multi-tiered uh, space on the middle of it. And then it connects back in over here, but over here, maybe it's the same height, but it's not coming in because this one, the, the one side has a, a pedestrian walkway underneath the bridge. This side does not, but it still elevates pretty quickly. So uh, there's going to, you know, we're going to do our best guess um, at figuring out what's going on. We'll obviously, uh, best guess won't be correct but we have to kind of do some reverse engineering and and set up before we can actually start modeling the bridge um so that's what we're going to start with is that uh, that kind of thing thankfully there are um, some plans available at least um the top down plans there are some sections but I only found this one through one area of the bridge. We'll come back to this to be like, you know, how how deep are these? So there there were some decent resources, but not enough to give us all the real world world conditions. So we're gonna guess at some. Um, um, just, just one, one last, last audio, audio thing, thing, just in, in case. case. Um, um, I said, said that it was I was fine until they shrink yourself down, and then all of a sudden my audio turned echoey. So is there something that changes when you shrink your when you became Tiny Tyson. I um, so if the audio is better here, go ahead, Jody. Um, is this better? We'll see. We'll see how that works out. While that's going, I'll also then ask you, where did you? How did you even come across this bridge? Like, like this, this is. is it's, it's like, like a surprisingly, surprisingly awesome, awesome bridge, bridge for, for just a tiny little town. town. Uh, I, I guess, guess that's better. better. Uh, I am going to. Okay. Hopefully that stays better. I copied in the settings from the previous. So uh, go ahead, Jody, say something and, and please let us know. Hopefully that. Okay. I'll, I'll start, start talking, talking again. If, if I get, if I get, get in a wing, then I'm sure everybody will help. Oh, it's happening again. again. Echo Man said I'm back to reverb. Uh, darn it. Not, Not cool. cool. Not cool at all. Um, I didn't want to tell you, Jody, to not chime in. <laughs> I know, right? Because you'll get really, real boring, really fast. I, I will admit, I, I carry the show. So, just kidding. I don't. It should be okay. And present audio. You do carry the show. Um, <laughs> certainly add uh, some much needed spice. Um, so oh, we're really? starting. I, I did. I, I brought the plan in. I did trace over. So we're starting from a place where 
there's a few elements that that we have, but again, we need to figure out some of the other um, pieces here. So I used a bit of the you know Google Maps view to trace over a little bit more context. I don't know how much of that will actually get in here, um, and you know built some simple. Uh, what should we call these? I, help help me out out there. Yeah, gigantic popsicle sticks. So with that in yeah. mind. I, I, I went and I listened, listened to what I sound like, like and yeah, yeah, I'm super annoying, Tyson. Tyson. Your uh, computer is making me annoying. This is all, all on your computer. computer. I feel pretty, pretty bad right now. I do. I feel terrible. Not off to a great start. Um, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, okay. Jody, this is just for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mute our, our conversation, which means you're behind. But okay. let's see if that fixes. Or I'm going to mute me and our. I shouldn't do it. Um, okay. Well, now you can yeah, hear awkward. awkward. I, I don't, don't know when. I don't know when you're, you're talking, talking to me now. But at least everybody's going to chime in and say I sound amazing, amazing now. I can't mute. I can't mute. Did that change anything? It'll it'll be a little bit awkward, but if if for now I will mute this and Jody, our conversation will be like half a minute unsynced. Uh, my well, understanding it's still it's still, still the same, same anyway. anyway. Oh, man, what in the world? How come how, how come, come OBS, OBS has to be just weird, weird and break all the things whenever whenever, whenever there's a show? show? I really wish I knew. I didn't change anything. Well, um, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm not, not Matt, right? For Aaron, this will go just fine because me and Aaron are already synced. Okay. Well, anyway, I will. Uh, you know, I I have and... I have a different. So, right now, this is working audio wise. Uh, I'm going to so. pause for a moment because people are saying this is working. I'm just going to readjust and move forward. Okay, so whenever I said me and Aaron are synced, that sounded good. Uh, so we're okay right now because uh, I will just keep going like this. Um, yep, sounds like it. Weird. Who knows? All right, well, I'm not going to bother. That whole little chat window is uh, in a different scene in OBS, but we're not going to mess with other stuff. We're going we to keep moving forward here. <laughs> oh, man, well, who knows? Okay, so, okay, here's, here's our challenge, Jody. Here's what we got. This bridge, like I say, it curves here. It's got these steps. And we don't know if we make some assumptions about um, where it meets the steps, then we and move forward, then those steps might end up in the water or we might end up way higher in the air and have, have trouble um, meeting the ground. So we, we're going to have to take, make some assumptions, but let's start by giving us at least um, kind of a place where we think, okay. And, and we can start by saying stuff like this. Based on the photos and based on these few steps, we can say, okay, if these steps were, I, you know, a typical step might be seven inches or something. So one, two, three, maybe four. So we're looking at somewhere in the realm of 21 to 28 inches that each of these steps is going to be. Um, so let's just take, this is our 
we'll make a group out of this one. Um, this geometry doesn't mean anything. I'm just creating a, a little bit of something I can see here. So I've got this one, and then we're going to move this one up. Jody, between um, yeah. 21 and 28, pick a number, a whole number. 23. 23. A very scientific of us. <laughs> it's, very, it's like a magic trick. 23. Was 23 your guess? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your card? <laughs> 23. Uh, 23 is not nicely divisible by a number of steps. So our steps are going to end up being um, like oh, six so inches 20, and a, a number between. So a number between 21 and 27, but not 23. Is that what you would say? Um, maybe that's what I meant to say, but you know, <laughs> we might just uh, make it work anyway. <laughs> well, so we'll have it. We go 24, which completely falls into sort of the perfect number. Uh, which Aaron likes because it's divisible by six and it's divisible by four and two and eight, like all of those. But what if we stick with 23 just because we're being obstinate? I don't know. Peter points out it is a prime number, so oh. I feel like that makes this more mathematical. We're definitely sticking with 23. All right, everybody. We are throwing caution to the wind. <laughs> okay, so uh, base level one, two... I, I should make these different shapes, but so we've got the base and we've got one, two, three levels. And then there's the main uh, bridge form. So I think we've got the right, if I turn off in geometry here, I think we've got the right number of steps. Uh, let's group these temporarily. Okay, so that's the steps. And then we'll have one more. But the, the interesting thing about this last one, if we look at um, our photos here, we could, uh, we could approach this in a way where we say, well, to make that top kind of work nicely with the steps, we could make both sides come up to it and then assume that top is flat, or we could assume that the whole bridge is curved. And I think that's what's happening. Um, is that the whole thing is curved. Hey, I need to go. I don't understand. I started to ask this question in the middle of our audio stuff. I don't uh, I don't understand this bridge at all. Is it, uh, how did you come across it? Oh yeah. Um, we, uh, <laughs> a few people may know. We had planned to do something different this week, but we got a little bit of feedback that said, hey, three weeks of, you know, semi Star Wars is a little too much Star Wars. Maybe not for some people out there, but it was a little bit like, okay, let's let's make sure we're not uh, doing too much at once. So uh, a bridge, we hadn't done a bridge in a while. I, it, it, that's as complicated as that thought process went. And I was like, I was like, okay, what's a good pedestrian bridge? I went at that. I just started looking. This one looked interesting. That's that's really what it was. <laughs> as simple as that. Okay. As simple as that. This is. It does not seem as challenging as the what was it called the sydney bridge is this called oh man the sydney bridge that bridge um this one that bridge just had a lot i mean it was a lot bigger so we had to deal with all of the struts and, and that bridge was more about modeling the structure this one's more about tackling the the shapes right the the, the uh, untypical okay. shapes um, okay, so these are the different levels of our bridge, and we need uh, to assume a starting point. Now, again, maybe for simplicity's sake, we should say, well, we're not going to worry about actually how this ties into each side, and we just assume that both sides are, uh, you know, same starting point. That would make things a whole lot easier, and to assume that this just came in and was flat. Eh, we're we got off to a slow start, but we're gonna try to see if we can um, again, kind of 
mirror what's going on here. We're gonna try that again. We're, that could turn out to be a terrible, should have made, simplified things, but let's see what happens. So with that in mind, um, this structure is 15 feet tall. And um, let's say that the base of this comes up, or is it 15? It might be about 13. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just start from here and say we're coming across and over here, we're gonna meet in at something that's about 10 feet tall. I think they're pretty similar. Again, I don't know, but let's just assume they're not perfectly. And, and that assumption is based on nothing and making this, you know, 10 feet over here is also based on nothing. Um, So Patrick was wondering if this would be easier if you had point cloud data, but it didn't, wasn't it a point cloud? Was it a point cloud project when you went out and did the, uh, what was that building? It was like a, a like a rec center or something like that. Was that a point cloud? Thing uh, or was that, uh, was that no, a that was photo match. I don't think oh, okay. I brought in point cloud. Um, we should. And, and people have pointed this out, and you're absolutely correct. The problem is we're all working on Macs. And so until we get a PC connected to this, we can't bring in point cloud data because point cloud only works for us, for our importer on PC. I'm sorry, that is a totally legitimate critique of like, well, we should do something about that. Yes, absolutely. It correct. would be an interesting, well, well, so the comment that I made was that it would be, it's a completely different project whenever you're working with point cloud. Like it, anytime I've, I haven't done a whole lot with point cloud. And when I did, I was so overwhelmed that I wouldn't even say that I really did much with point cloud, but it's a, it's a much different process for sure. Definitely. And, and, and one that we should demo, one that we should show, um, like it's a, it's a poor excuse to say, well, we just haven't set up the right machine for it. That's a terrible excuse. Totally. Um, okay, so again, saying that we're coming from here to here, and then maybe the other thing that the other assumption we're gonna make is what what slope does this have? Now, I was talking to Eric earlier and he reminded me, because I wasn't sure, that ADA compliance would suggest that we cannot get a slope higher than eight degrees. But in fact, it might be closer to six or seven. Uh, you know, eight's the max, but it's six or seven was nicer. So let's see um, what that might be. So uh, and and uh, the other thing here is I'm you know I'm not assuming a a purely center point of bridge, you know. Uh, as far as where those come up to meet, um, I'm putting it somewhere over here towards the this um, the steps. But with that in mind, let's just raise this piece up. Um, this line. Uh, let's say seven degrees. Let's start there, see what that does. And then from there, if we come down, check this one, but it should be. Huh, that gives us 12. See, too high coming from the other side, but. We should be working with prime numbers anyway, like 13. <laughs> but, you know, do whatever you're going to do, I guess. Aaron would be rolling over in his grave if he were dead and knew that we were doing anything that was mathematical. Well, Aaron is welcome to come in here and do this right next time. <laughs> I love that that's always the challenge. As you're working on a thing, as soon as you get compared to someone else, you're just like, well, they can come in and do it their own self. 
Oh, yeah. Am, am I? Uh, yeah. Okay, so if this one comes up at seven, this one comes up at eight, maybe we're going to make this one assume that this one comes up. Well, we know we're not too high. So, again, this is based on an arbitrary uh, middle point of our bridge. But let's say, in that case, let's say that's the height. Let's double check. So if we take that and we bring our piece over here, over, that's where it's coming up. Actually, that looks redonkulously high. Yeah, I was thinking, wow. I, or, well, before I was looking at it and thinking, how do boats go under this? But now that I'm looking at that, you get all kinds of boats under that. No kidding. Um, so that tells us we're okay. We can make it less, and we're going to bring this down somewhere here. And this is kind of just visually, let's make it that. And let's make our... So our bridge is going to do something like that. Okay. I'm going to group those so that we just can use them for reference. Sometimes, I, I, I don't know anything else. When I'm building this, Jody, I'm, I'm uh, like, okay, where, what, what were we doing? Why, why did we do all this? What do I do next? What, what's next? <laughs> Yeah, I'm still a little confused well, about all the audio stuff. So I'm like, I don't even know what you're working on. I thought we were going to do something <laughs> from Star Wars today. Oh. <laughs> I'll Actually, tell you we what. had a great conversation What's going that? on in chat about Star Wars and Star Trek and Mork and Mindy. And Mork so, and yeah, Mindy? I, was, I wasn't even paying attention. Say what? Yep. Um, Mork and Mindy. I, Did you ever watch you, Mork and Mindy? I, I know you had a very protected childhood. It, I, Mork and Mindy, um, I feel like even if you watched it or I watched it, neither of us remember it well. Uh, I mean, that was, that was a long time ago. Did you? Well, so reference was made Reference was made to, to Star Trek, and whenever Spock does Live Long and Prosper with the little finger thingy, mm -hmm. that's the same handshake that Mork would do whenever he would meet somebody. And he would oh, say, Nanu, 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 Nanu. Yeah. So I don't know. Somebody said something about Star Trek, and then it made me think of that. In any event, I'm glad that you watched it. <laughs> I can't tell that you was, anything. That was probably peak Robin Williams cocaine times, though. So I'm sure it was. Uh, <laughs> I would have to. I would have to go back to see just how crazy that show was. Wow. Um. I traced this earlier just so, right, so we don't have to take the time to trace it, but I'm just tracing over the top of these images. And then I've just moved this one down the way. Um, then we'll move them back. So I'm going to start again. We know, or we're assuming, that these steps are flat. So I'm going to start there because the way that we're going to build the the bridge is using uh, the soap skin plugin. And to do that, we have to create kind of an accurate representation of the full outline of all the curves we'll be using. And we can't do that till we have some of the surrounding pieces done. So select this, copy it, paste in place, group it, or make it a component actually. Then we'll, we can name it. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to name it like lowest step because then I got to be like second lowest step, second highest step, <laughs> middlest step. <laughs> it, starts, it becomes annoying though if you if you put a number too, can you're like third step? Is that third from the bottom or third from the top? So maybe you just need to pick like random like sort of arbitrary <laughs> names like you know delta. Oh well, now that's going to start messing with things too. Yeah, name it after characters from Star Wars just to. Oppose those who would think we're doing too much Star Wars stuff. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to do it just because we don't have too many, but yeah, second lowest step. 
Wait, you said name it after Star Wars. Uh, this one is. Oh, I can't spell anything. I was going to say ah- Ahsoka, but Ahsoka is spelled like Ashoka. I don't know how to yeah. spell. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Uh, so this one is going to be um, uh, Antilles step after Wedge Antilles. And I don't even know if I spelled that correct. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I'm like over here looking at Morgan Mindy trivia now. Uh, it's a spinoff from Happy Days. Before the show, there was just a really successful episode of Happy Days with Robin Williams as Mork. What the what? Um, well, that's that's unexpected. Sorry, completely completely derailed there. Carry on, my wayward son. No, right, I'm just making up. Oh, there you go. After the there you go. Poorly, yeah. Now, how many? How many planets are you going to be able to rattle off? Not many. Um, certainly not many when I'm trying to think about what I'm doing next, but uh, let's see. Mustafar. <laughs> Hoth, of course. We're sticking with 23 inches, by the way. Nice. These are all 23 inches. Uh, we'll see if that comes back. And... We're Bikes sticking with it for the... now. Uh, grab... Move 100 feet over. So Randy found a great 18-second uh, drone shot of this video. I mean, of this nice. bridge. So the forum would be a great place to post that. This is, it's an interesting bridge. It's all completely foot traffic too. Like part of me expects this to be so much bigger than it is. And then I go back and look on the, mm-hmm. the picture on the forum and it's just got tiny little humans walking on it. Tiny little humans. They're so tiny. They're so insignificant. So, like, anytime I look at things like this, I always, uh, you know, when you see something that's got a bunch of boards that are obviously kind of put together in a, air quote, random pattern. Mm-hmm. And I always wonder, like, what the process, like, how how tedious are they like how much is somebody really digging in and sorting boards or, you know, are they doing something to fake it? Cause I like trying to do a cutting board, something as simple as a cutting board. I'm just like, Oh, I'm sick of sorting boards to be the right unique grain pattern. Apparently I'm not a very good woodworker. And just to show, cause I agree with you, what you're talking about um, where you have all these boards and it's uh, yeah. I wonder, did people, when they're laying these down, is there any any consideration an about just the board what sorting. it goes? Yeah. Um, I it also does kill me whenever I no it kills me whenever I see just a, a big seam that runs the entire width. I'm just like, oh, it's not staggered. It's killing me. Oh, we forgot to make this one a component. This one is uh, your call, Jody. Huh? Wait, so you already did Dagobah and Hoth and Tatooine? Oh, we didn't do Hoth. I mean, it can be Hoth step if you want. Hoth step. Oh, it feels or, like or a dance step. Alderaan, but Alderaan seems like a bad one. That seems Ooh, like a, Alderaan. That's a bad omen. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Uh, Jeddah. That's another one. From Here we go. Shall we, shall we stir up the hornet's nest? Jeddah from the best Star Wars movie. <laughs> so knowing you that's got to be from rogue one but i don't know i don't remember which planet that is jetta's where they're mining uh kyber crystal from uh 
And then it's the first test of the new Death Star when they blow up Jeddah City. Okay. okay. So that's where, uh, what's that What's that guy's name? Where the Saw, Saw Guerrera, that's where his, his base was? Correct. Where he was torturing pilots or whatever? Correct. Oh. All right, what did we establish here? I move this up to our little reference. That's what we're suggesting that we're going with. Um, one of the challenges, again, based on the method I'm using, is we have to somehow take this shape. Let me... We have to take this shape and give it the correct um, compound curves. And <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's already it's already got some of its curves, and you just need to map it now to the the flow of the of the bridge itself. Yeah, we have to we have to create the curves. Um, from you know up and down, so so where is our reference? We suggested. I don't need that. I was just to show that that's the. So I, I'm actually curious. Um, I'm going to use probably a combination of native tools and uh, Fredo's tools on surface to try and do this. But if there are other faster suggestions out there, I'd be game to to hear what they are. But what we have to do, so we're, we uh, I think we were we we're working on audio stuff, and so I kind of missed what you missed what how what the what the starting process was because there's a lot that was already done before we even started here today. So you imported a <clears throat> image and traced stuff is that has that what you had done in preparation for this, this correct session? so i've already traced the outline of the plan view of the bridge and that and helped us that, out yeah did you trace that from the satellite imagery or did you trace it from this source image that you're that is kind of overlaid right here that i traced this from, from this plan it seemed more accurate although that didn't show us like you know, the, the paths and stuff again, which we may not actually get to fleshing out, but I traced that from, or at least traced it close to from the. Okay, sorry. Anyway, I distracted you from where you're going. Carry on. Um. So what we need to do, th I, this was kind of fun in that, like in thinking about this and how we can do this, this gave me one of the only times I ever used the three point arc tool. I never used that tool, but we could actually use that tool to help us create some of this path. What we need to do is to say, okay, what we're, our top of our path is going to be, let's say from here and I'm referencing. So we, we need to create a couple of references along the way. Um, I think we have, we don't need that anymore. This, however, probably would help us if we just have this as a surface. So I'm going to quickly create a lot of, a lot of this setup is, um, reference. Oops. Good. Right, so here's roughly how we need the bridge to go. And so in order to bring these curves up at the correct compound curve that they need to go, I'm just going to draw a couple um, reference lines in here. So I'll draw that and then reference sort of where it meets. And ideally, yeah, that should be tapering down. 
the type is stuff. So Randy posted this video clip of the, the drones sort of going around this thing. Mm -hmm. And I yet again marvel at how normal humans can now create all these amazing helicopter shots of things, you know, with a thousand dollars worth of equipment. It's so cool. Agreed. No wonder everybody thinks they need to start a YouTube channel. It's so easy to make a video that why why wouldn't I do this? Oh yeah, because I have to edit it after I film it. Oh uh, also, I saw some dumb headline today that suggested like I, I couldn't tell if if the headline was like, oh, this is outrageous that he's being arrested, or it's outrageous that he pulled off such a stunt, but like that some YouTuber is being threatened with jail time because he took a perfectly good plane and crashed it for YouTube content. Like he jumped out of it and then let the plane just coast down and crash into the mountains. Um, I have no, I don't care what the legal ramifications are of it, but like if that's the, what you got to do to get views these days, that's a bummer. <laughs> You know, and it's interesting, like part of me is just completely horrified and offended by that because, you know, wildlife and things on the side of the mountain. But then I also, I mean, I guess that like how long they've been making movies where they, where people crash all these different things for part of the story forever, right? Like one of my, it should not have been a show I was watching whenever I was a little kid, but one of my favorite movie, movies when I was a kid was the Blues Brothers, which for the longest time had the record for the like most expensive car crash or most cars destroyed in a pileup or some sort of some sort of record for how much carnage they they produced by crashing vehicles and that's like I don't know should I, the, in those cases it's a controlled situation so it's likely no animals were hurt it's probably not a chance the mountain would catch on fire and people would lose homes but I don't know I I don't like whenever people just break stuff to break stuff. Will it blend? It seemed just egregiously <laughs> like both entertaining and horrifying at the same time. I do have a uh, look. Funny, I dug up some old non-working phones. Uh, that yes, if, uh, if you want to throw my old flip flip razor phone in a blender <laughs> for entertainment, knock yourself out. <laughs> Um, I, okay, here's a problem. We've run into one of our first problems with not knowing and trying to guesstimate on how this works. I'm looking at this and part of this bridge, again, part of what seemed interesting about it is not only these compound curves, but that over here it splits and part of this goes down to the lowest step and part of it goes up, right, right here. So, we need this point here starts at the same place and then this side goes down and this side goes up. Uh, but based on where we've uh, placed these steps, this won't work to go down. So we have to readjust those, but those were kind of you know, in place based on um, our, some of our initial assumptions. So. Ah, this is where it gets, um, you know, stuff. I, I don't, you know, we'll, we'll, we won't be accurate. I think we'll be fine because it's fine that we're not accurate and we won't break anything. But sometimes you get farther down the path and based on assumptions you made, and then you're like, dig yourself into a hole that you, you really can't get out of because the relationship between these would, would be problematic. In our case, let me hide that for a moment. Um, this section right here needs to go down. And let's just say, uh, it needs to go down, but then the top of this needs to meet up here at a reasonable point. Oh, oh man. 
What have well, we done? And define reasonable. I know. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. That's, we're going to suggest this goes down, let's say, two feet for now, and then see what. Um... Thanks, everybody. Good show. <laughs> it was a good run. Had a good run today. <laughs> Somewhere I, um, and I, I admit, I'm getting confused because I've got both the lines that I'm coming in to meet, plus this false ground plane, which is not supposed to be representative of anything yet, but, um, but I'm getting a little bit caught up on like, okay, what are my actual surfaces here? So, how, how to resolve this? So we've got... Um, let's hack this a little bit. And I'm going to need to take all of these reference edges and I'm going to group them. So they don't start merging with our geometry and messing up. Uh, if you want to get a, a little perspective, you can go watch that video. It's 18 seconds long. Well, I don't think it'll help. Okay. Like I, I um, even even with the video, we're still we're still making some guesses, and we just need to know the you know that video is not going to tell us. Well, part of our problem is that we made these steps a little bit differently, or that our slope is. You know, two degrees off, that sort of thing. But let's assume, you know, um, we're we we're we're still we're still chugging away. We 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 still have an opportunity to save this. But sometimes uh, I will walk away from one of our live streams and be like, ah, oh, man, that did not go that well and Aaron is always positive and being like no people like seeing when you struggle they like seeing when you're you know flailing about who would possibly I want think, to watch that oh so here's I think here's relate to it is, is one are, thing yeah well you're you're proving that even somebody who is arguably a master at SketchUp uh will still kind of struggle with some of these decisions and that it's never even even though SketchUp looks easy, it's never as easy as it looks. Yep. Okay, so I think we're going to have to change some of our initial pieces here. Um, let's start by saying this is the base of our thing. I think these are around five feet out of the five. Yeah, yeah. The water. Let's say that's set, and then this piece here. It comes down um, some distance, and let's say that's set. So that sits above <laughs> these pillars. So Keggy pointed out this wouldn't be a Tyson stream without some sort of frustration like this in the middle of it anyway. So uh, that's, that's actually totally fair. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, just own it, walk through it. We'll Self-deprecation is part of my mo it's good to, it's good to know <laughs> thyself that is great though um you know it's you know another part about this that's funny is uh i had done kind of a very rough version last night to be like eh, am i gonna totally do this what i'm doing right now and i kind of worked it out i don't even know like what i did differently like I thought I had a methodology worked out. I think what the problem that we have is uh, at this point, we're gonna have to assume it starts higher. If, if indeed, um, again, let's say that this is a known, we're gonna leave this. These pieces are known, we're gonna leave those. 
and therefore the pieces that we can mess with now are the where the bridge will tie in and we'll just make the embankment higher and stuff. So that's what we're going to do because this okay. needs to be really go. frustrated. What if, what if there's like a little bit of an embankment too, that you've also got a, like a roll to it. Is there, uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Let's uh let's let's make it okay. So that slopes down. We're gonna say that's good. That's our good starting point here. And this comes <laughs> up. What's up? So this this comment has made been made now a couple of times that this thing is proving to be your arch nemesis. <laughs> uh, boom. boom! Nice one. No, we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna tackle this. Okay, so that is gonna raise up higher than that something like that. I think that will, and then this point over here. Um, you know, we could raise or lower this a bit. Make our arc our. Okay, let's say that's what it is, because I think, again, we'll just meet, raise the banks up wherever they need to be to meet that. But that's that will work do, right? with I mean, the river. Build the bridge and then just use a backhoe to make the ends meet. Yeah. I mean, that's how it, that's, that's how they did. Uh, yeah, everything works. That's how they did Every the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, exactly. Did you, you know that? Golden Gate Bridge was built first and San Francisco came later. They built San Francisco <laughs> to meet the Golden Gate Bridge. That's a true story. <laughs> They're just like, seriously? What was the, I mean, it's so much bridge. What, uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a, is, there, is it a true story or are you making that up? You'll never know. I know. No, I will know because I'll go look on Wikipedia and I'll be like, what the? Like I'm expecting you to be lying, but then you just said it's a true story. So obviously that makes it immediately true. Mm -hmm. You can trust me, Jody. You can trust my historical in, uh, knowledge. Bridge was built in 1933. See, and San Francisco and was built in 1984. I was right. You might think that because some of the best 80s fashion came out of uh, San Francisco, but. <laughs> San Francisco was founded in 1776. Uh... <laughs> that was like so many years before. So many years before, Tyson. Ugh. And make me look like a fool on national television, global internet. Quote, a large blue headed man. I made you a hero. You did the full bit all by yourself. That's mega mind, you know. Mega mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how many <laughs> guys have giant blue heads? Hmm. <laughs> Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. And every other Smurf. Man, we, we're we're talking, you know, architecture. You brought in fashion. We're just knocking it out of the park today. I think we're at a better place. Um, so the way this works, uh, again, so I the reason I made these um, points here are just a reference because now if I use the three-point arc tool, I can maintain this curve on the outside here and the curve of the bridge. So if I start from here, go through this point, 
as my second point and then go to here, I know that all the points on that curve are meeting up as they should from above and they are also curving up the way they should. So, so that's was this, the arch of this bridge, the part that you thought was going to be the most challenging. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, at least, at least you're meeting expectations. <laughs> Somebody's. Yeah. Um, okay, good. It, it's not just, it's, it's two things. It's the arc, arch of the bridge mm -hmm. that, you know, curves in multiple directions. That's one thing. The other part of this challenge is taking that and meeting it up with the other pieces of, of the bridge, right? The steps. So kind of a couple things that I uh, thought would be particularly challenging. Um, I'm going to create one more. Now, I think another way that, that we could potentially do this, just to kind of go off into the, the weeds for a moment, is if we had this, and actually maybe this will be better for some parts of it, but if we, again, knew, knew some reference pieces, we could take something like this and then use Fredo's tools on surface um, and then draw something like an arc here to here, something like this. Poseidon is wondering what if you make a wide slope and then drape the curve? A wide? Like create something that's bigger than your shape and then just drape the shape of your, your bridge onto that instead. Create the slope first and then add the shape rather than make the shape and then add the slope. I want to see it. One. I want to see it. Yeah, okay. that could be a, a good, good method. <clears throat> I, partially, admittedly, I'm staying uh, to this because it's what I had planned for and what I'm pretty sure I can make work eventually, painfully for everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that, that I'd be curious to see what yeah, other I, methods I mean, we could we could create. Yeah, I think yeah. So the, the solids tool basically is is the answer that they're looking for versus you're going to use Fredo stuff. So. There are multiple ways to skin a bridge. Ah, okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you're so you're saying that we pull that shape up and then we create another solids, you know. Yes. Yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah. should yeah. work. That should work as well. Um one thing that that would run into is because unless you create a compound cutting shape you'd have to account for things like where it curves back here, right? Generally, it would work for most of this shape, but there are some pieces like, okay, we need to pull this back. So depending on like if, if your shape curves, that could work better Eric, or less. Eric, is, Eric has arrived and is excited to see how you solve this as well now. Uh, hey, you and me both, buddy. You're about to be judged by a jury of your peers. What else is new? <laughs> just, just another Friday in your life. Those went uh, into the wrong I don't know group. It's happened there yet? But the sun has come out here. We actually have sun. No kidding. In my neck of the woods. They also no. apparently have it up in the P and W. Um. E and w. Tell everybody uh, what kind of fun you had over the past few days, which leads to the kind of fun you're going to have over the weekend. 
Well, so I don't, I don't think I've ever confirmed if, if you got to have any of this fun. So the night before last, we had a solid half hour hailstorm that decided to bang up my cars and completely shred the roof on my chicken coop. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be installing a corrugated plastic roof on my coop again this weekend. Indeed. You had the uh, lovely fortune. I, we, we had a good hailstorm. It was marble size hail. So it was exciting, loud. Don't go out in it. But you had the golf balls. Like you had the actual dent yeah. the cars. Yeah, it was, uh, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Mostly it was the worst of times. Yeah. I need... To create this uh, slope down from here to here. I need... You know what, I I confuse myself with all of these lines. I'm drawing all these reference lines that sometimes it's like, that's getting, is that what I want? Something. You know what, I... Um, Have you saved that, lately, by the way? Uh, no, but I started with the file that was saved, so. But good okay. call, good well, call. No need to no need to save again. I, I'm going to add a slight. I thought I had this is a straight line right now. And just again, because of the way we're doing this, we can make this a slight curve and I'm going to make it so just because we're making this difficult. No. Nope. That difficult though. Yeah, so Jody has a fun repair weekend ahead of him because it smashed. Yay, so, hail. Sorry about that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. um, hey, I was looking for something to do anyway. Oh, yeah, we know you were. So this comes up. Roughly like that, and that will give us. Now we can draw that three point arc from here, here, to here. And well, you know what? what else we need? We need that same line over here. Um, when we get to the point where we finally get to, uh, start the soap skin bubble and adding some surfaces on here, hopefully it will, you know, be worth the payoff. But until then, I hope you can see like what we're creating and why all these reference lines were part of this is because until we get to that point, we're creating all of the curves and I'm taking my time and creating them based on other geometry because again, I'm anticipating, I want this stuff to line up well. Um, and to do that, I need to make sure I'm using reference, you know, decent references. So that's, that's, uh, that's why this feels uh, a little painful. That's where we're headed. This line. Is,
map to map. Click a little point here, a little point there. Something here. Um, Peter's wondering if you if you studied the MC Escher method for creating art. Somebody else, somebody else was also wondering about your how up to date your AIA accreditations were. <laughs> I mean, that's that's where I that's why I knew the uh, Golden Gate Bridge to San Francisco history. That was on the <laughs> that was on the quiz. That was on the the refresher. That's right. <clears throat> so I'm. You could probably argue that if they're as up to date as they ever were, they really are. <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> I feel like the 23 inch steps are, is really paying off. You know what? I, I think you're absolutely right. I think you steered us in the right direction. And, and that's why this is going to be an amazing, amazing success. So kudos to you, Jody. Kudos yeah. to you. It's a good thing we got all that audio stuff worked out at the beginning, or you might never have gotten this sage advice from myself. Agreed. <laughs> we worked out being uh, we hacked the streaming software in real time. Um, I'm having ah. what what well, I have groups within groups and I don't know which ones are which. This is uh Dave's nightmare. I haven't seen Dave in in, in uh in the stream in a while. He seems to retired and now is now too busy for leisure activity. Oh, I can't blame him on this one. This is, I, I don't think this is particularly his uh, interest. Although I, I think he's also doing, you know, like some working with the local school, doing some robotics and stuff. So good for him on that. Yeah, it's a better, probably a better use of, wait, I'm not going to say this is not a, a good use of anybody's time though. So fine, he's doing that. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if we're we're getting close here. If all this setup's gonna pay off or not. It's looking good. I have. It looks like you're gonna have a tremendous opportunity to stitch things, which Aaron would be over the moon about. Oh yeah. Stitchy stitch. <laughs> Um, I never use a three-point arc tool, so I don't have it mapped to a keyboard uh, shortcut. So it's kind of like annoying me that I have to go to the toolbar, but such is life. That's, that's how I live. One toolbar click at a time. You are a man on the edge. Edge of something. Okay. Uh, um, right now. Well, we're going to run into problems here. What? We're going to we're going to have uh, some stuff that's not going to map. It's going to map close enough for what we're doing here. But to really make this work, I think what we need to do is go in and put a point uh, here. 
like this arc, we'd need to start here and we'd need to make sure we're connecting and then at the midpoint of the arc, like, so when I draw this line with the three point arc tool and I go from here and go through here and go through here, it is not going to map perfectly, see, to the, to below. That's, so, you know what? That looks terrible. I'm gonna take five minutes to correct it because let's, let, come on, let, I mean, we, let, let's get this right. Let's get this right. You only, you only get the chance to screw up once or something like that. Right? Really? Mm. I blew that I chance a that. long time ago. Yeah, maybe, maybe I miss, maybe I'm miss, mess, messing up my aphorisms. So I want three lines for each of these and then a straight segment between them should be fine because it's a straight segment below. I just want to set up, set up, set up, set up. Uh, what other, what other good uh, areas of SketchUp and stuff is all set up. Um, 3D there. printing? That's making stuff solid? Yeah. That's good. Building something at triple scale so that you're or double scale or 10x scale, whatever scale, so that you uh, can shrink it back down and not have missing faces. Is that set up? Yeah, I, I would. I would think so. Okay, so we. Um, I'm sure we could have uh, simplified this a little bit. Um, the curve of the bridge, that as as large it is, as it is, being translated to you know the minute differences in height between these three, we probably could have just get. Um, copied but but that's the idea i hope of like why we just did that is if we were trying to do this as accurately in some way as possible and that's why we took our time for there yeah see came out all right, I'm going to hack this one. Uh, and you know what else? I need that, that. Broke all these up. Put them in the wrong group. There, I believe we can keep going. Uh, so, Transom wonders if you could use the offset tool. Offset? Mm hmm. But um, from what to get this type of curve? That's. Like all of this is, yeah. is kind of painful right now because we're trying to translate curves in multiple directions. So I could be misunderstanding, but that, that'd be my, like, how would you off, what would you be offsetting that would? Um, it's, fair. it's a fair question. Sometimes, well, I, sometimes the, you, you come into this thinking, well, okay. Most often whenever I come into this, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. When I say come into this, sorry. Whenever I like 
offer up a suggestion like this. I'm not sure if this is which operation you just did that it's going to be applying to. So maybe, maybe there's a 12 second delay and you've moved on past it. At this point, you look like you're pretty much home free though. I think we're very close to, uh, to, uh, tackling the major part of, of this. And okay, let's see if it works. So yes, um, and I, I, I hope Transom, I hope you understand, my friend. I'm not, I'm not saying that won't work. I'm saying I don't understand the suggestion. But based on the, <laughs> what we're trying to accomplish here, there um, uh, offset the straight lines from the lower structure. Like it could turn sideways, so you're looking at it in profile, maybe. I'd still be curious Indian how case. how you would then re result in this. Okay, so I think let's uh, let's move this over here to the side and create some of the shapes we want. So I'm going to move that 600 feet. Maybe 700, so it doesn't overlap with that. Eric's over here just saying weird non-words. Curve aloft, curve a shear. Uh, both, uh, curve aloft is a really good suggestion. Um, I think based on what you're trying to do, curve aloft would probably be the better, better suggestion. But, so, um, okay, let's, let's make this work here. Uh, I've got weird nested grouping going on, so I'm just going to explode everything. And then, so I've got that. I'm going to move it another 100 feet to the side and run slope scan. And I'm going to turn up my iterations, let's say by 20. And that gives us the compound, like this one's not that dramatic but that gives us the piece that we wanted. So let's come back, I'll grab this, this. Lawrence shouted, this shouted, shaved, shouted save just as you oh. started the, this whole business. <laughs> should know. Thank you, just you did. Know. I should. Sub skin, closed loop. Well, it uh, doesn't like my closed loop here. Nope. Which of these corners do you think is my offending corner? Did you think it was this one? <laughs> you were right. <laughs> sure, look like it. <laughs> you zoomed in too quick. Confirmed it. Okay, so two pieces. And this is the this is the one we've been waiting for. Yay. This is uh hopefully <laughs> is this a closed loop? What do you think before I hit this? Anybody want to place bets? This is the one. Totally is. You can tell it is. Mm. Really good. We did it. <clears throat> 10, nice. 20, I turn that up. I'm going to turn that up. I don't know if we can go to above 30, but we want as much as we can get. Because that is that convoluted, complex. There's hardly, hardly any stitching at all then. Oh, don't tell him. Aaron would be so sad. Don't tell him. Don't, I mean... All right, let's uh, let's uh, smooth these out a little bit. So smooth. Reverse that. Smooth it. And I am going to hide. These edges. Ah, I was hiding, not erasing. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. 
Um, I, again, I would be interested. Curve aloft, based on what we're trying to do, could, I think curve aloft, based on some bridges, would be more appropriate for some others. But um, I'd be curious, again, yeah, what other ideas would be out there to say, how might we create that? How many different ways could it be done? Yeah. Um, all right. I moved this 700 plus another 100, I think. That's 800. Thank you, because I was about to screw that up. Woohoo! I don't need you anymore. Radial right. bend. This is Eric's, Eric's offering up these, these cryptic statements. Okay, well, um, this is not me being reactionary. I legitimately. I suggested this earlier, but who would be curious to, to have Eric do the exact same bridge at some point and tackle it with like methods? I mean, he may just be like, oh man, everything you did was so painful. So much, so much better, so much better ways. I working, I English good. I use speak. <laughs> yeah, just keep on using so the much words. better Put in whatever order you want. <laughs> Anywho, all right. Let's get to the rest of this bridge. We 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 did that uh, all downhill from here. Downhill, right uphill. We have the major pieces, and we got them. Boom. So, rest is uh, icing. At least it's back to some stuff that is uh, a little more predictable. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. You just start putting people on there. Draws your draws people's eye away from any imperfections. Not that there are any imperfections. What are you talking about? I am so I so I, offended. I, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I should have added these uh, earlier because then they'd be part of the both forms, but I am going to put some. Oops. Getting my, I'm getting keyboard happy, hitting the wrong one. Um, but I did that because uh let's say four inches or six inches or something i think this uh the if we look at this these are planters uh at this point so step that down so these are kind of steps and they have, um, if we really went into it, I think there's a bit of a top and like an overhang and stuff. Um, we probably won't get to that. I do want to get to putting some railing in uh, for, for the bridge. Um, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of these planters and we'll come back up here and see if we can get some railing because I think that will really help to to add the nice detail. Really tie the room together, so to speak. Oh yeah. How going back earlier, how did you get on a conversation about Mork and Mindy? So that's what I was saying. Was somebody mentioned something about Spock. And so then it made me think of whenever he does live long and prosper. Because, you know, when he holds his hand up and he splits his, splits his two fingers together or apart. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. So in Mork and Mindy, uh, 
he would do that same gesture and then he would stick his hand forward and the, that's how he would shake hands with people. <laughs> so it was the same, the same hand gesture, which apparently has some history in Jewish hand gestures, but I don't, I don't know much beyond that. Interesting. But now I want to go watch, uh, well, for one, I want to go watch some more committee, but also I want to go find the episode of Happy Days that the, that Mark was in. I guess, like, as I, as I remember back now, I think I can kind of remember, but it's curious. It is that it's a spin-off. That's a... This off. One of the things that we uh, have to figure out is how to now tie this down to what's below it. Um, and this. I believe if we do something like this, this is an area where if I if I bring this down, this is going up. I'm going to take this lower section, and I think there's a, you know, I could try scaling this to, this is the base point. I, you know, if I was using native tools, scale it down to say here. Uh, it doesn't want to work for me. There's some. Um, tools that will flatten this <clears throat> what am I read my mind and, and tell me what I'm trying to think of I'm trying to flatten to ground I, yeah no I'm oh you know, know what maybe this won't work without a uh, surface. Sure. Perfect. Perfect. I am hoping to once again employ a little soap skin That's not perfect, but we're going to have to work with it. Um, I don't have it installed. I think another good option here would be the new vertex tools, which would take that whole curve and we could pull surfaces down from them. I'm sure out there, there's some other ideas um, as to how to create, you know, we could use joint push pull and then cut the bottom off. Actually, maybe let's try that. Maybe you just want to stitch everything together, just manual. Maybe not. I have joint push pull. I do. I don't know um, all of what I have installed. <laughs> so, after you install twenty twenty three, like how long do you? How long do you wait before you start going out and trying to replace all your extensions immediately? You just like day one, they better work. I don't, and that, I mean that's a good question for everybody. Like, um, were we talking about this recently? Oh, wow. look at that! Darn it! What is that? I didn't do that. Um, I. The extensions you use, every time there's a new version, I know it's a painful to go find your extensions, but it's also, you know, it's like when you move and you get to purge a bunch of stuff and it's painful in the moment, but but the problem with extensions, and I, I'm, I'm sympathizing, I know this, this is a problem that people out there wish we would help solve. Not only is there not a way to install them in mass and just sort of revamp what you've done, depending on the extension creator, they use different 
e-commerce systems that, so if you have paid plugins, now you have to go find the license over here, over here, over here, right? There's half a dozen different license yep. systems. So sympathies. Yeah. Um, same but these. What am I trying to do here? I need joint push pull to work for me. Join push pull. Come on, make it work. Uh, I'm losing Jody. I heard that yawn. <laughs> that was me. That was my dog. At least it wasn't all reverbed. That would have been weird. <laughs> It's just that it's almost two o'clock. It's my nap time. I get it. I get. It. Are you are you that that old yet, Tyson? Do you like sneak naps in ever? Um, if I stare blankly at my screen between like two and four thirty, that count. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. That's okay then. Yes. All right, what the one type of nap? All right, that one worked out. That one worked for us. Cool. That's better. Man, Fredo stuff is so brilliant that you sort of just if at first it doesn't work, you just go through all the options he's given you, and then it's going to work. And that is that sort of how his documentation works? Just go to oh. play options, still works. I don't want to throw shade. Fredo's documentation is it's not, you know. Documented. Great. Put some videos out there. Okay. Good, good, good. We've got that. Um, where were we? The planter here. Then we'll go do some railing. I do end up wondering like what the what the build process was. I mean that's that's invariably that's where my brain goes is the how like the building part versus the the designing part. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like I mean a fair bunch a fair amount of this is actually all concrete work anyway. So I guess that first part you just you just wait until those guys are done and then once the once the concrete part's been set up then I hate, I hesitate to say it's straightforward, but you only have one place to stick your board, so it's where you stick it. <laughs> it, it, it is a fascinating we... thing, like actual construction. I, since you asked about my AIA credentials, which also aptly, you were correct, don't exist, um, but one of the things I think like I suffered from when I did go to architecture school and that is probably a little bit common, you go in there and then they're like, you start designing and then I would just get raked um, because nothing I designed was buildable because I had no idea about construction uh, or even like what to consider. And I'm not saying that I do now, but like, yeah, it's, it's a more, you have more now than you did then. I'm sure. A little bit, whatever that's worth. <laughs> it's worth a little bit. I I just deleted my lines over here, and now I want them back. I have to, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need, why I need. There, what? Why is it, why has it not become this commonplace thing where you can, look at 
edits, like be able to cycle through and pick and, and undo or undo a thing that was 10 operations ago without having to undo the things that happen in between. Like, I wonder why is that such a hard problem to solve? It I mean, is. I know that That's a... is on its own is stupid hard. Um, uh, there, I don't know. Did you ever see what well, was it called? The X document way back you and I, Jody, I can, I can ask you mm -hmm. this cause we go back to the at last days. There was a mythical document. Um, it goes back. Oh, there's my line work down here. I can, no, I can't use that. I, I, again, I, I'm calling it the X document, but, um, It had, in theory, it didn't. It, it hadn't solved like how to do it, but we had somebody who worked at SketchUp, and then he left in those early days. But he had created this doc that was, what was it called? It was called something. It was basically undo with a visual uh, representation of the model at undo points, and the idea was that you could go back to an undo here and then branch a tree off a thought tree and go down a different path that's exactly and, what i'm asking for I don't, yeah I, I never heard about that document though it, it it was like a visual undo it was the it was a really interesting idea it didn't it, i don't even think it was tried because um whatever reasons but uh yeah it was it was a very interesting idea i would what like that I and i would like to I don't know if Springer actually built it or had just concepted it, but uh, array along a path. <laughs> Which we're about to do, if I can get this to work. Uh, yes, I want that too, natively. Yes. Yes. Um. A ray along a path, the reason I'm struggling a little bit is because uh, we need the path and I need it to map what now we've created. So I'm going to copy that. Did I just lose you? Or did my headphones just cut me. out? Okay, no, we're good. Headphones, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Poseidon does make a good point about the, about the undo selective. Is you cut you copy what you have, and then you undo all the way, and then you paste paste your what's what's on the clipboard. That's a, it's, I guess a way a way to do it. Uh, yes, and pay, that is you basically like... take your your future state, go back in time, and then apply that before the other stuff is played. Apply, which is uh, hugely a great way to yeah no totally agree um and uh, yet again paste in place is uh paste in place is one of the most amazing most amazing of features cyanide just says save as yeah that works too let's see if we got we need it. This is, uh, I can weld this. So this is our starting path. You know, one of the fun things about this bridge, let me see if I can find that image here. I was looking at this. Yeah, this one shows it. This railing and this railing look like they are mirrors of uh, the same style. This one down here, it's different. Uh, we probably won't do, yeah, you can see it better here. Like they're for, I don't know why, oh, but yeah. best I can tell, there's two styles of rails. So the one, that one on the outer edge over here on the left is like that because you don't want any seals climbing over the fence and getting up onto the seals. I don't know. I'm not sure what else might be climbing up there. Providence has a huge seal problem. I think you're right. Yeah, I, that sounds right. Anyway, we're not <laughs> going to bother creating. 
uh, different ones. Well, I think I've got this one. Got a decent rest. So we'll, we'll let's just create something like that. <laughs> but yes, seal problems. That's a that's a legit oh. thing. I don't think everybody saw whenever you just cut to that picture. Oh. Well, it was no. it was an amazing picture. You guys, you missed it. Oh, it was oh so amazing. <clears throat> it was amazing. So we are just going to, we're going to make this up and say, not that. Fake it till you make it. Fake it right? till you fake it some more. And then you shake and bake it. Is that still a thing? Ooh, I don't know. How many things used to exist that don't exist now? I am. Oh, that used to exist that don't exist now? The wheel like they invented <laughs> that and then somebody lost it in time better design yep yep there are so many mealtime staples that i remember from my youth that i don't think or maybe they do maybe there's some some part of the world where people are eating hungry man dinners on a tv tray as they watch uh, reruns of WKRP in Cincinnati. <laughs> Telephones with permanent wires. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Well, some people will suggest, right, that that still exists because the best audio can only be, you can't get Bluetooth <laughs> audio that's, I'm, I'm audio trying to poke some buttons, like, yeah, trying to push like, some I buttons. I don't use cell phones. <laughs> I mean, who would possibly? my mom does, my mom does have one that plugs into her wall, but then it's cordless, so. I am changing the axis because the tool we're about to use and um, over here navigating in space poorly because we're over here, but the tool I'm about to use wants to align on the red axis. So if I select this line, click the old path array, click the start of the path, click on the tool, and then I can say, how many do I want? Um, And one of the things to know about this is like, it's pretty cool, but it, as it turns corners and stuff, you can see uh, we've kind of lost it off the axis. So this is not going to be a perfect solution. The other thing I should do is just create a uh, simple placeholder. I love that we're aspiring for perfection at this point. Oh, yeah. Say five feet, maybe six feet. This is going to be our spacing way down there. I I don't understand, Jody. What are you talking about? It's this point you're you're making comments about it not being perfect, and so then you're not going to do it. And whereas at this point, when it, in an Aaron show, then all of a sudden he is embracing imperfection <laughs> well this is this is not going to happen and then he just carries on okay so cool grab those let's group them how far away did i move this i don't remember uh i don't think you said it out loud or if you did i wouldn't pay attention it's roughly there so say it was 700 feet because that puts us back um now here's a fun little uh i know some people know this trick but 
So let's say we want to uh, add the wires in here. Going outside, so apologies if that's coming through. I don't hear it. Okay. I'm going to create, I just need a placeholder. This is off my, oh, look at my, wow. No, really, I can draw on SketchUp. <laughs> And align my axis so that I can use the scale tool to quickly. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to take the sides down because we don't want it that big. But let's say that's the rail. And then down here we have several other. I'm going to turn the sides down even more. Oops. Eight sides. that and we are going to so if i wanted to have um, all of those lines going through there rather than doing follow me uh, on one of these shapes by outlining it in this way i can take this um, entire shape and i need my line which I've left 700 feet away. <laughs> Oops. So let me copy this back. 700 feet over here where my lines are. Um, but if I select this as the follow me path, then I just select this entire shape. It should ta -da, leave me with the uh, outline of those. So I didn't have to do a whole bunch of path along shape. And I can get rid of this, or should in theory be able to get rid of this. I just grab the outline. So select all this. Um, it does not want to select. There it is. Group that. And move it on back. Hopefully, I do not need that path anymore. Sorry, I've lost it. All right. So, you know what? I do need that path if I was going to create that uh, handrail part of this. Darn it. Where did it, where did that path go? It's part of the follow me that I erased. Knocking it out of the park today. Yeah. <laughs> You're being so efficient with all of your erasure that uh, it just keeps biting you in the butt. Yep. Yep. Um, I, uh, I should use solid tools or something to carve part of this out because this this whole part sits lower down here on these, uh, what did we call them officially? Toothpicks? No, uh, popsicle sticks. Yep, giant on popsicle these sticks. Giant popsicle sticks. And then over here, uh, there's some structure, some, and they sit up higher. Um, we're about it. We're getting close to time. So I'm going to see if I can get one more handrail in here. Um, and that's probably where we'll call it. I got some stray line hanging out that likes to keep hanging onto these things. Weirdly. You know what else I should have saved? The profile for my railing. <laughs> wah, wah. 
what <laughs> why uh, what are you even doing here today like why why even bother what you know you what even, why are we why are we even playing this game what are any of us doing here A good so, question. Um, so you know that this weekend is uh, Legend of Zelda weekend, right? Oh, that's right. I mean, what? What? Then we Some while. Level. Why are we doing this bridge? I don't know. We could have been doing something Star Wars related instead, but no. Well, I mean, we could have been oh, yeah. doing something Zelda related. I don't know. I feel like there's some missing link. We are. That's what I did there. Yeah, I did. I, I there it is. There's Jody. That's what we all showed up for. It took my sweet time <laughs> getting here. Man. You, you you missed that afternoon nap you were talking about. Like, uh, where you been? Yeah. Well, now now I'm here, in fine form. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we get lucky here. You, you, oops, start, you, spacing, let's make it five foot five, five foot six, it's about what we'd used, cool, 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 cool. Oh, you know what? This did not carry. Our our entire line was not welded. So let's fix that real quick. Weld that and see if we can. Uh... Six. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So it was mentioned earlier, there's not really, uh, there's not a, a Tyson graveyard going on, but this is a little bit graveyardy. You're just, you're just going over to the graveyard, doing all your building and then taking it back. Yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. I, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I legitimately do enjoy my, you know, playing in my graveyard. So I'm not trying to disappoint anyone out there oops but you're right not uh not not the typical graveyard when you when you've got a signature move you know people are expecting the signature he's letting anybody down let's see Um, I could copy this over, but I, I think it'd be faster. Oh, well, maybe let's see if we get lucky. I'm going to lock to that. Oh, see, we've got too much going on. All right. Forget that. We're going to redraw it uh, and make it look similar. So we have well sided here. Nope. Well sided. Uh, 
Um, I did not have a graveyard per se. I definitely have my uh, typical work over to the side. Uh, does it count if this episode as a whole, if we just dug ourselves deeper and deeper into the ground? Um, does that count as the graveyard this time around? I'm assuming Jody just stepped away for a second. We lost you. I was I was yapping and going on. So it did this weird glitchy thing where it just had you just going. Burr, burr, burr. Burr. I thought I lost <laughs> you, but it was that's me that's normal. Along. That's not glitchy. That's like <laughs> that's pretty standard. Well, yeah, I feel like yeah, and then. What's the uh, what's the Menomina or Muppets guys? <laughs> nah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not the it's not the first time or the last time you've been compared to the Menomina guy. That might be the first time. Okay. Okay. We are got all my things working again. I am. Uh, we are like so close to our two-hour mark, and I'm, I'm, I want to see if I can get these in here before that. But um, man, this one's giving me a bit of fits. I'm trying to align this, and I know that follow me will follow the path. But if we don't have this lined up starting here, it's not going to like work correctly through our. So I need to. I've got so many I, like everything is off the, the the typical blue, green red axis right because everything is sort of just off on all these. So, man, it's because it's because the world is flat and you made this thing not flat. I know the person. world is totally flat. I wonder if I wonder if the algorithms will pick up that little snippet of of text, and now all of a sudden we're going to get a bunch of flat earthers coming to all the SketchUp live streams. Mm. I'm sure <laughs> that would uh, go over swimmingly. Some people, uh, yeah, I mean, we from the start, we could have made this a lot more flatter. Like, if we had said that this whole thing was flat, nice flat bridge between two flat places, life would have been easier. So, <laughs> actually, probably what we, maybe this is a, is a good design alternative. So, what we do is instead make the, the river itself, like, curved down. And then we make this flat, and then when we go and re-flatten oh. the river, it automatically makes it rise up. Kind of like when you water quench some blades, like a samurai sword or something, and the quench itself, so you might overcompensate in forming the blade because you know the quench is going to... Yeah, I like what you're throwing down there, Jody. Yep, I'm working on, working on a book. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Okay, cross fingers that this works because this is the last thing we're gonna do. I'm holding my breath. Grab this, follow me, grab 
this. Follow me. Ooh, it's way that way over here on the other side of the bridge. Who knew? So it's really fun. Looks like something out of a rose worn uh, model. Ooh. Those are all hoses. Dim's high praise. Okay, how does it look? How does it look? Uh, hey, it mostly goes through. That looks, that looks real. Uh, the angle looks amazing. This one, uh, this one. <laughs> Let's see if I can select the right group here. You. I just, because we're hacking it, now I grab you guys. Make you unique. Then I can rotate inside of here and at least get this a little better. Not perfect, but Not let's walk perfect, across but... our bridge. Um, let's say that this goes up to meet. And let's walk across our bridge. We did get the bridge. Sort of done. I think that the, yeah, and the resulting railing ties it all together. The only problem is that uh, there's not randomly placed boards across it. It's like a concrete bridge. You're right. Also, that's like, you fix in post. Hmm. Oh no, we can't fall off. Ah, we just failed. Somebody fell off the bridge into the water. Uh, Jody, you and I, oh. we have no career in future bridge design. Sorry. There's a whole mess of, like, nobody was talking after I, I lost my internet, and now all of a sudden everybody's back, and they're dropping puns, bridge <laughs> puns, left and right. Oh, perfect. Eric said you railed it. <laughs> oh. Okay. He's, he's going to top that one. Randy said it's like a bridge over rendered water. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, or before that, Randy had said you had really stepped in it. That's why you're working on your steps. Yeah. Well, I would here. Oh, no, wait, since we never did. That was me talking about flatter. Oh, you. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to walk down here. Walk down. Now, Eric, uh, I suspect. I know Eric. He, uh, even if you got this far and farther, because he's he's probably better at this than I am, this sort of thing. He could not stop here. He would have to at least put some grass in here. Um, Eric is uh, much better about entourage than am I. So, apologies, buddy. Yeah, I think it's all because he had actually auditioned to be in the show, and when he didn't make it, he's just been sort of. We don't bring that up. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Don't ever, ever bring that up when he's around. He is so sore about that. Why am I so tall? I feel like I'm. I don't know. Eric's saying add people for scale. Problem is, what if you add people and the scale saw wrong? We don't. Then all of a sudden, we're just like, "Oh, this is no good." 
Oh, the scale's correct. The scale's absolutely correct. Um, where's my old... Uh, I mean, thankfully, because of the scale of the original drawings and that they had. So, yeah, let's, let's grab a few. Uh, heck. Grab a few 2D people. Persona 2D, 2D, here's old Bryce. Is Bryce gonna be at a different scale though? I suppose it depends on if it's one of the modified Bryce's. Oh, here's 45 sketchy people. Oh. Lawrence wants to know if you make a bridge shorter, does it become abridged? <laughs> yes, as it does. Oh, I like these. Wow. Either <laughs> I, I am people. really tall or most people. At, uh... Those people specifically. Okay, everybody's. Uh... While I stand, while I. Uh, sit around moving these into place. Uh, I don't know, Jody. Take us out of here. Wish uh, everybody a happy weekend. Happy weekend and a happy Mother's Day. Is that an international holiday? Oh, is it? Mm, that's right. I assume it is. Everybody's got a mother. I hope so. I mean, sort of, to some degree. Eh, well, okay, I'll, I'll apologize I mean, if you don't. They've cloned sheep and stuff, but... That's true. Well, in the event that you have a mother whom you can wish a happy Mother's Day on, then by all means do so. Do so. Or if you have a father or you're raised by wolves and you consider them mothers, whatever, whatever the scenario is, love your care caregivers. Well played, Jody. You you even uh, you you got the, the folks who were raised by the wolves. Yeah, everybody needs everybody needs to be validated. Everybody needs to be heard. What are you groaning at now? Who's uh who's throwing? Oh, I'm not groaning. I didn't groan anything now. I just said words. Oh. I groaned a minute ago, uh, Lawrence, because he said, because he dropped this line of, uh, wait, where did it go? He said, I banged my head on a low bridge. It would have been okay if via duct. <laughs> That's the way it is. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good times. Good times, everybody. Yeah. There's no, there's no way I can see us out whenever we've got Lawrence dropping, dropping those. The whole gang is everybody. Everybody's here <laughs> dropping puns at this point. Oh, it's good. Like dad convention. <laughs> We're in good company. Good call, Eric. Uh, it would help obviously with more people, but you know that helps give it a little bit, a little bit of life, a little bit of scale. Now we get to walk across the bridge. In proper fashion, waving hi to all of our friendly bridge goers before we fall off and break a, an ankle. Because. Or have to fight off the seals that are able to climb oh, up. Oh, man. Seriously. So many seals. So many seals. <laughs> Shadows. Nice finishing view. Let's say. We're, what the? C come on, floating person, get down. I thought it was done, and then I was like, nope. This guy didn't want to stay done. down. That's the thing about pursuing perfection is you're never done. 
I was in pursuit of perfection, just like stand on the ground. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> we, we did it. I think, well, we did something, whatever that is. One, one way or another, a thing was did. <laughs> Huge thanks, if everybody. Angle, if oh, yeah. Angle, it looks close to perfect. It looks like. Something. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> it was a good challenge, and it was flexing some uh, stuff that I certainly don't do normally. So, yeah, I think you did a great job. It looked a uh, it looked very much like a, an Eric kind of project, and you uh, you did a great job with it. Well, thanks, Jody. Thanks for hanging around with us and keeping things interesting. Betcha. Um, I guess on that note, we'll, you, we'll, you take us out. We'll, we'll get out of here. So, uh, again, thanks, everybody, <laughs> for joining us. And uh, I do believe Eric, Aaron might typically be up next week, but I believe Eric is, is going to be joining us next week. Not sure what he has in store. Maybe he'll come in and show us how, to, how we could have done this uh, so much better. Um, or he'll have something else. But... Um, yeah, thanks again, everybody. I hope you have a safe, have a wonderful weekend, and we're, we'll see you we'll next see time. We'll see you next time. See you guys.